All right, Steve, if you're going to do some of that leaf blowing, yeah. today's probably the day to do it, maybe tomorrow morning, right? Well, boy, yeah, Todd, today and that first half of Saturday looking very nice. We're going to have some high clouds out there. You saw them this morning. Now they're kind of backing off, so we'll call it hazy sunshine this afternoon. Those clouds will increase overnight, and uh, still most of the day tomorrow will be dry. We'll get to that in a second. Live look at Seaside out there right now. You see, I call it the beach haze, kind of sitting in there, but up above, lots of sunshine. Folks out there enjoying a nice afternoon, just light west winds there. You can see the flag blowing there. Mount Hood Meadows, boy, this is a great shot. And I'll tell you, coming up later next week, we're probably going to add some more snow to this. We could be beginning to build the base you never know if they open up before uh, Thanksgiving. That would be great for uh, skiers. All right, Subaru Portland camera over downtown Portland. You see the high clouds out there, uh, but lots of sunshine as well. 56, uh, 57 degrees, relative humidity 46%, dew points at 38. And the wind currently calm that afternoon. Planner going in the evening, staying dry. Current conditions across the northwest part of the state. A lot of mid and upper 50s on the northern end of the valley, but still cool from Salem south. Fog and low clouds kind of hanging on around there, but we'll get those cleared out. You see those high clouds pushing from southwest to northeast up over the uh, area today. Uh, it's all in association with that frontal system still off the coast. Big deep low up in the Gulf of Alaska. That's slowly going to sag into the metro area as we move into the weekend. Weather headlines, we'll call it dry with high clouds today. Nice temperatures up around 60. Rain returns this weekend. And uh, as we look further ahead in the next week, boy, mid-November is looking cooler and a lot wetter coming up. We'll get to that in a second here. Future cast, I have it out wide right now. There's that system off the coast. It's just going to sit there overnight tonight into the Saturday, but then it begins to make its move. We'll stop it at 530 on Saturday. Northern end of the valley could be seeing some sprinkles, but for those football games, especially the Eugene game down there at Autzen Stadium, looks like it's going to remain dry. Here's 730 on Saturday. Eugene just on the edge of the rain, and then it drapes over the entire uh, metro area as you move into Saturday night and into Sunday, and then Sunday night, another warm front with a new system coming in right on its heels. So, Beavers 1230, mostly dry, about 55 degrees. And then down at Austin Stadium, the Ducks play 4 o'clock, 56 scattered showers. But I think that's in the second half of the game. First half likely remaining dry. Uh, speaking of dry, today's your dry day. Showers late on Saturday. The first half of Saturday looking good. A rainy evening on Sunday with some dry time in the morning. And then we're into that wet pattern as we move in to next week. The full first full week, so to speak, or second full week. Uh, by November 7-day forecast, Todd, you see that 61 today, about 60 tomorrow, dry the first half of the day. And then Sunday, wet, uh, Veterans Day, very wet, another system right. moving in there. And that right there, Todd, is a 7-day forecast in the month of November. I was going to say. In Portland. <laughs> looking pretty classic for, uh, for November in Oregon. Yeah, and we could get some snow that second half of next week after Wednesday. Could be building up some more snow up in mountains. We'll keep a close eye on that. All right. Thanks, Steve. We'll be right back.